Did you know that there is a wild, but highly likely theory floating around the One Piece fandom who states that Kizaru is pretending to be an admiral, but in reality, he works directly under Imusama and is his most powerful agent. Beneath Kizaru's slow, calm, and innocent persona, he's hiding a psychopath with killer mentality, with unbelievable discipline towards his master. From what we've seen in the story so far, it looks as if Kizaru is holding back his true strength, and he doesn't seem to have his goals firmly in line with other Navy members of his same level, like Akainu, Aokiji, Kuzura, and even Rukuku. It's as if his Navy is rare and the most powerful puppet. To be more specific, Imusama ultimate wild trump card that only acts whenever he's ordered to do so or only when the celestial dragons are in danger i mean seemingly lazy and mostly disinterested kizaru volunteered himself to fight or in some sense eliminate all of the supernovas when he got the news that one of the celestial dragons got punched by luffy and the rest might share the same fate Uta based kizaru's entire character of puni tanaka a famous japanese actor who's one of the most famous roles was exactly of a mob agent that used to play lazy and dumb also like in the freshman island arc flashback kizaru's seen dressed in a mobster outfit where he beats and captures along who attack marines to take revenge for his leader, Frisha Tiger, a freshman that once used to be a slave of celestial dragons. Based on all the points I've mentioned so far, I think the direction Kizaru's storyline in One Piece is heading towards isn't much different from Kuni Tanaka's famous role in movies, proving my point, which I mentioned at the beginning, that Kizaru is a wolf in sheep's clothing, where he directly works under Imusama. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think.